Yo, Sunrise the Divine, back at you again with some more love and light. As you see, we back at you again from the mountain. It's a nice little misty autumn morning, autumn rising, you know what I mean? Made me feel like I wanna, you know, curl up and get me a little Netflix in, but we putting in that work today. Okay, so this video is about growth is not in the comfort zone, okay? I'm gonna repeat that. Growth is not in the comfort zone. A lot of the times what happens on this journey is we could get stagnant or anything like that because we get comfortable. You feel me? We get comfortable. And we know that anytime we wanna grow, we gotta go through some type of uncomfort or some type of pressure, really. It's really pressure, right? Like, for example, like if you want your muscles to grow and get stronger, you got to put yourself through some pressure. You got to work them out. You got to break them down. And that's not comfortable. What happens when you sit around too long and you're comfortable, you're sitting on the couch, your muscles get weak and flabby and all that because you're too comfortable, right? How, what, what, what do you do when you want to get faster? You run until you, 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 you keep until you can't no more and then you keep running you know it's not comfortable okay so on this spiritual journey it's the same thing like a lot of people say like you know happiness you know happiness uh and joy is the goal and stuff and, and that's great you should i'm not saying you shouldn't want to be happy or you shouldn't aim to be happy right but what i'm saying is for, in order for your spirit to grow, a lot of the times you got to get uncomfortable, right? Because you got to transmute these emotions that you don't want to deal with. That's that's that you that you've been stuffing down in your in in your mental closet for the past however long. You know what I mean? And a lot of the times when people get on the spiritual journey, it shocks them because of how comfortable they are when they approach certain situations, when they meet certain people, when certain people say certain things, it triggers them and it makes them feel uncomfortable. Now, my message today is don't run from the uncomfort, okay? Sit with it. My, 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 my family, my brother, my... My, my coach, my boxing coach, Giff, always say, I chase challenges. That's what he said. And, you know, when he said that, it took me a, like a little minute to get what he was saying. But he's like, yo, he's basically saying, like, I embrace I embrace the challenge. I embrace the pressure. I embrace the 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 uncomfort because we know that's where growth is <clears throat> mentally. What happens when you want your brain to get stronger? You gotta put pressure on it. You gotta read books. You gotta goddamn study. You gotta got that going. You know, get get in get it into your 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 bag, your mental bag. You gotta you gotta learn. You gotta figure out what you wanna learn and learn. It's the same with anything, y'all. See, a lot of things in this life, a lot of the the rules and the and the methods of growing and ascending in this life works the same across the board a lot of the times so um just yeah y'all get uncomfortable right especially as a man and not to like separate you know men and women but especially as a man you need to be facing some sort of challenge uh like you need to find some sort of challenge for you. If you on your bag, you got your bag, you 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 already comfortable, you got you two, three apartments, you nice, you 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 set, you straight, you eating good, all of that. You need to find some way to put yourself in some pressure. Whether that be working out, whether that definitely working out, but whether that be uh, studying every day, whether that be making sure you meditate so you can deal with your internal trauma, you need to apply pressure to yourself, okay? Because the way we're wired, um, embodying the masculine energy, you know what I mean? The way our, our body is wired, we're built for that and we kind of crave it. And so that's why you see a lot of guys nowadays, like motherfuckers is like 
depressed, anxious, and all of that. It's because we too stagnant. We ain't, we ain't applying pressure. I ain't gonna stunt. Like, I was going through a whole bunch of crazy shit, like, internally this past, like, like earlier this year and last year. But then when I started staying up on this mountain, right, it started, it was uncomfortable. I was like, ugh, like, this shit ain't really the most comfortable at first. And so I just had to deal with that, right? But I embraced it because I already knew this shit, what I'm talking about to y'all. And I embraced it. And then I, I got myself on a little routine. I started putting myself in challenges. I started working out harder. I started reading more. I started challenging myself. Oh, let me release this habit. Yeah, it's tough, but let me release this habit. Let me release this other habit. Da, da, da. And, this, and that created so much pressure within me. And now I'm still growing, y'all, daily. I'm still getting to it, but just from a couple months of consciously applying pressure and the universe applying pressure motherfuckers is like sunrise you glowing you glowing wow you doing your thing you on point motherfuckers is like sunrise look at your skin sunrise wow wow sunrise you smell good nigga ain't even shower for two days what you mean i smell good <laughs> What you mean? Because that's the that's the spiritual that's that's what happens when you apply pressure to your soul. You just you you radiate, you grow, you elevate, you shine, and people notice it. I'm not, I'm not even trying to be cocky or nothing, but that's just that's just what I notice. And so it's like, yo, definitely as a man, you gotta apply pressure to yourself. Your your body was built tougher for a reason, so you could build that mug up, and so you can handle tougher situations and so you could so you could just basically deal with the pressure right so don't be docile be active be forward with your goals growth is in the uncomfort zone the diamond it takes an extreme amount of heat and pressure to turn that coal into diamond you feel me that hard boiled egg gets hard boiled, gets hard because it was hard boiled. I had to go through all that heat, all that pressure. You feel me? So, wow, that was a great build. But yeah, y'all, get out the comfort zone. And, and look, I'm not saying stay uncomfortable. It's okay to get comfortable, but don't live there. Okay, this guy on YouTube said it best. He said, his name was Dante Young, shout out to him. He said, the comfort zone, especially for men, should be like a rest stop. Like you on a journey, you traveling, and you pull off to the side to the rest stop. You may take a little nap. You may stay there for a day, a night, you feel me? But then you get back in the car and keep going on your journey. So I really like that analogy, shout out to him. And that's how the comfort zone is, y'all, you know? Peace and love, you know. Add me on everything. You already know the spill. Link in the bio. Drink a lot of water. Do your stretching. All that hoopla. I love and light y'all. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.